Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing five tips on how I like to keep things organized while packing my personal things for a road trip, including organization with several Dollar Tree items. Stay tuned. If you like all things organizing and Dollar Tree, please check out my channel and subscribe below. Sometimes the best vacations aren't the most flashy. Like many of you, we definitely needed some time away, even if it was just to have a change of scenery. So for this trip, simplicity and ease were the themes. I wanted to pack only what I absolutely needed to be comfortable. Instead of starting a list from scratch of what I want to bring, I keep a list of things I typically like to take on vacation on my Google Drive. And every time I have a trip, I duplicate the file, rename it, and then edit according to where I'm going. I'd rather have all potential ideas in front of me and then delete rather than possibly forget something entirely. For example, we are taking a road trip to Michigan at the end of winter, so of course I can cross off all outdoor swimming gear. But stuff like shampoo, contact solution, I keep on the list for every trip. Keep clean things clean and the dirty with the dirty. Simple but really important, especially when you're trying to save space in your travel bag. I used to put shoes in a repurposed grocery bag, but these days I like using the shoe covers from the Dollar Tree so I can better see what I have. If you can't find those, you can use shower caps as well. And speaking of keeping things clean, I like to pack a garbage bag to put our dirty clothes. Since I don't need to fold dirty clothes when packing to go home, I just put the entire garbage bag of clothes as is into my bag. So when we get home and I unpack, the garbage bag of dirty clothes goes immediately to the laundry room. It's a quick way to keep your dirty clothes separate. Now, Dollar Tree has a lot of travel-sized items from toiletries to medications, but you'll save a lot of money if you can make your own. Almost anything that could be made into smaller portions I did. For example, I like to make toner pads pre-soaked ahead of time, stored in an old Ulta powder container. I save samples from stores specifically for trips, like freebies from the dentist office or from stores like Bath & Body Works. If you're on Bath & Body Works mailing list, they oftentimes give travel sizes as promotional freebies. And of course, I put shampoo, conditioner, etc. into travel bottles. Travel size items can of course be kind of pricey, but for some things, especially if they can add weight to your bag, like contact lens solution, it's worth it. Also, if you wear contacts, I like using specifically these kind of containers for trips. For containers that have caps that come completely off like these, I've dropped the cap several times before on vacation and although you can wash them, if I'm away from home, I just prefer to use a new container if something like that happens. Also, since all of us will be sharing a bathroom, I chose to bring one large container of body wash for us all to share. So in this case, bringing the full size container makes a lot more sense than travel sizes. And I pack my current loofah, which I plan to have it on its last days by the time the trip comes around, and then I toss it before leaving for home. Group like things and choose flexible styles. For me, this especially applies to clothes. You can either organize pouches by outfits or by occasion, but for this specific trip, our plans are super flexible. So I decided to group things by clothing type. So tops go with tops, pants go with pants, and small items like underwear, bras, and socks stay together. Dollar Tree has so many different varieties of bags, some waterproof, some mesh, and some of them, like this one, can serve double duty by being useful as a backpack if you're going for a walk or on a short hike while you're on vacation. If you can't find bags to fit your needs at the store, you can use old bags that used to hold bed sheet sets or pillowcases. To make things even more flexible, I chose to dress in layers and pick clothing that worked well with each other in different combinations. As I stated in my Dollar Tree purse organization video, I love using see-through bags for nearly everything. I know it probably isn't as pretty, but I like being able to save time by not having to rummage through looking for things. 
Prepare with extras, but not too many. I like to pack for an additional two to three days depending on if I plan to do laundry while away. It takes some pressure off of feeling like I'm going to run out of things while at the same time not packing too much. If you're staying at an Airbnb or hotel and you're unsure about what may be available to you, call or message ahead of time. I have found homeowners on Airbnb to be very fast and communicative, and they want to hear your questions so they know what their guests really care about. For example, on this trip, they did not have a hairdryer listed on the online listing. And when I messaged the owner, I found out they did indeed not have them in the house. So I needed to allow space in my travel bag to take my own. And that's it. Five very simple but effective tips for staying well organized while packing for a weekend getaway. I love hearing your helpful advice. So if you have any packing tips or tricks, please share with our little community below. If you like all things organizing and Dollar Tree, please check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and take care.